the entrance antiphon. The designs of his heart are from age to age to rescue their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. Good morning. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Cry, you came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care that relies solely on the hope of heavenly grace that may be defended always by your protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, you shall not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like gods, who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes, and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of the both of them were opened and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. When they heard the sound of the Lord God moving about in the garden at the breezy time of the day, The man and his wife hid themselves from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Word of the Lord. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. Then I acknowledge my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. For this shall, for this shall every faithful man pray to you in time of stress. Though deep waters overflow, they shall not reach him. You are my shelter. From distress, you will preserve me. With glad cries of freedom, you will ring me round. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. 
Jesus left the district of Tyre and went away to Sidon on the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spit and touched his tongue. And then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephratam, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed. And they were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. The short episode that is portrayed by Mark with uh, Jesus into the district of the Decapolis show us how much uh, life-giving a community uh, of members who follows Jesus the Christ is able to be. And uh, it is one of those episodes here and there in the Gospel of Mark, we find them, that um, actually they highlight one um, of the characteristic of our own baptism that we have received, as it was for the community also to whom Mark was writing, and that is um, the need of uh, going to Christ through and by each other the need of being people who intercede for one another in order to be able to encounter the healing presence of Jesus the Christ and that are able to intercede especially for those who for different reason may have an impediment that are between them and the person of Jesus the Christ. In other words, Mark seemed to say, Christ needs you in order to be able to do the good work, the life-giving work that actually is doing here. And so uh, let us take a moment to think about those eventually who may need our prayer of intercession let us take a moment to think about those impediments that we first that we may have and that there are kind of a barrier between us and Jesus the Christ and uh, ask the community to intercede for us. Prayers of intercession and the presence of intercession as we see here they are powerful, they are life-giving, they create the space and the right setting in which Jesus the Christ can make a new creation to happen. Amen. And now let us present our prayers and petition to our Father. That the ears of Christians everywhere 
may be opened by God's grace to his saving word, let us pray to the Lord. Their civic leaders may be guided by the Holy Spirit in their efforts to protect life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who suffer from addiction may find healing in Jesus' merciful touch. Let us pray to the Lord. That members of this faith community may grow in faith, love, and hope through God's providence in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That the faithful departed, freed from all sin, may rejoice in the vision of God forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. And remember when Mass today being celebrated for John Costa. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. And Father, we ask you to welcome and to accept our prayers and those that we be in our hearts. We present all of them in the name of Jesus the Christ, your Son and our Lord. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vines, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant that we pray that we may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through the Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, and through the Christ, our Lord. And through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adores, and powers that trembles before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewful, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took a bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <clears throat> Thank you. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. <coughs> The mystery of our faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edgar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <coughs> And at the Savior command, and found by divine teaching, we dare to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you all. Amen. And let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, and behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. At this time, you can make a spiritual communion. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in Holy Communion. Come, nevertheless, and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Amen. In the Communion Antiphon, thus says the Lord, 
Let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that uh, we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live uh, that uh, made one in Christ, we may be joyfully be a fruit for the salvation of the world through the Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may God bless you, who is the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go and remain in the peace of the Lord. Amen. And have a nice day.
forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For increase in faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, O grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed are you among women. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to God.